Hello guys, it's Paul here, IT for Computers, IT for Tomorrow. Today I answer a question from one of our followers. Why is turning the PC on and off again is so effective? Well, the reason behind this is not because of the actual PC, it's because of the software. So I suppose in your case it is Windows and uh, Windows has issues when uh, it's running for a long time it has problems and it becomes much slower because of the way it was actually designed in the first place. The problem with Windows, they can't really change it because Windows supports all the old applications. It's called legacy apps. So if you got 1995 legacy app, it would actually run on the, on the most modern Windows machine. Because of that, the page file is becoming clogged up and the machine runs slower and then the RAM becomes all sort of used more often by the applications which you don't actually use at the moment and it just gets much slower when it's when you reset the machine or switch off or on and then back on then you start a fresh cycle of uh, actual windows and uh, your RAM is all clear no apps are running and uh, it feels much faster if you had, for example, Linux, that would not be an issue. Linux would be fine. It basically can run for years without the restarts. Or I mean, this was designed for server machines to run non-stop. And it's actually does a good job, Linux. But unfortunately, with uh, Windows, it's a different story. If your machine is very slow and it feels much slower than... Um, than usual, you might want to consider to upgrade it. You might have issues with RAM, so maybe you would benefit from the RAM upgrade. Or it's possible that your SSD drive is basically full up, so that would also make your machine slower. So the upgrade would make it much faster, and you would not have to power off your machine so often. But ideally, for PC from the hardware point of view it's best to keep them switched on all the time but for the Windows it's best to restart it at least once a week. Thank you.